gonna build a Diamond Dynasty squad by guessing these MLB teams from their best cards in the game. Each one of these graphics has the highest overall player at every single position for any given team, but these are only cards that have been eligible in season four. So set four, set three, and core cards. So it's not the entire inventory, it's just what's eligible right now at the time I'm recording. All right, let's get this started. Obviously, I have not seen any of these beforehand. I had someone make these graphics for me, so let's see what we got. 99 all-star pitcher, 99 awards catcher. We got a snapshot 99, a milestone 99 at shortstop. Not the best second baseman, an 82 rookie card, and same with right field, 86 all-star. Trying to think what would be kind of the giveaway on this team. I'm thinking maybe the catcher 99 awards. I feel like there's not a ton of those. 99 awards catcher. There is 99 Johnny Bench, the World Series MVP card. So could this be the Reds? I mean, you would have Ellie at shortstop. Yeah, this has to be the Reds because that would be 98 TJ Friedel. I just used him in Revolution out there in center field. Snapshot Joey Votto, the 99 all-star pitcher, I think would be Johnny Cueto. I, I think this is the Reds. I'm going to go Reds. And I would be correct. Now, anytime I get an answer right, I get to add a hitter and a pitcher of my choice from that team to my squad. So I'm going to put Elliott shortstop and 99 Johnny Cueto in the rotation. All right, team number two. Let's see what we got here. A 97 all-star at pitcher, we got a 99 signature at first base, 99 awards at shortstop. We got a 75 overall live series in here. 99 great race card in left field. Who is that? 99 signature at first base. I mean, I know there's like that Paul Goldschmidt card. Is this the D-backs? 97 snapshot catcher. No, this wouldn't be the D-backs. They'd have postseason cards they'd have 2023 postseason cards oh there is a 99 overall draft card in center field so if it's a 99 overall draft card that limits it to like what four teams the nationals the tigers oh this might be the tigers actually yeah this is the tigers there's only like four 99 overall draft cards in the game four or five or something like that so that could be Max Clark. Uh, 99 signature could be Miguel Cabrera. 99 awards shortstop. Who the? Oh, that's Alan. Tr this is this is the Tigers. That's Alan Trammell. I think this is the Detroit Tigers. And I got it right. The great race card was Luis Gonzalez. So from Detroit, I'll take Miguel Cabrera. And I'm going to put Will Vest in the bullpen. Okay, team number three. What do we have here? 99 all-star catcher. 99 great race pitcher 99 awards 99 2023 postseason in right field okay so that is gonna definitely limit who this is gonna be um i actually think i might know who this is automatically i think this is baltimore because 99 catcher for all-star there's what two options adley and elias diaz and then 99 snapshot would be manny machado i don't know who the great race pitcher would be uh, but 99 awards, Cedric Mullins, and then the postseason card would be that uh, event reward to Anthony Santander. Yeah, this this has to be the Baltimore Orioles. Dude, I am crushing this. So you already know I'm taking Adley at catcher. And I'm going to secure a lefty reliever, Cyanel Perez. Dude, this video is already much easier than the guess the rating. I feel like having the card series and stuff helps me so much. I, I might go perfect here. So for this team, we have 99 milestone at pitcher. We have a gold rookie at catcher. Uh, a 99 retro finest at second base. What? Who the hell is a retro finest second base card? That's a 99. 99 awards in right field, 99 all-star in left field. Ooh, the giveaway here might be the live series third baseman, 85 overall. So let's think. What live series third baseman are diamonds? You have uh, J-Ram. I think he's an 87. You would have Austin Riley, but no, I don't think this is the Braves. What third baseman am I missing? I feel like there's at least two more that should be diamonds at third base that I can't think of. Can't be Arenado. I'm pretty sure he's a gold. Oh, Machado. Is this the Padres? Dude, this is the Padres. The 99 retro finest is that 
stupid new Jake Cronenworth card. Yeah, I think this is the Padres. Yeah, that's that's 99 Tony Gwynn, right? San Diego Padres. And that is four for four. Dude, I'm cruising. So I'm going to put Lightning Juan Soto in the outfield. And I'm going to add Joe Musgrove to the rotation. Also, I should note, because the Padres are a perfect example of this. Some teams have more than one, like, 99 overall at any given position. So the Padres have 99 monthly awards Juan Soto, as well as 99 all-star Juan Soto. If a team has two of the same overall at that position, the card that's represented on the graphics of this video are the ones that have more parallel ones unlocked. So the Lightning Juan Soto has 19,000 green parallels, whereas the All-Star card has 76,000. So that's why that card was represented on the graphic instead of the monthly awards. I probably should have explained that at the start of the video, but whatever. All right, back to guessing. What do we have here? This is a very interesting one. We've got a Live Series 77 at Catcher, a Gold Tops Now, a 99 Great Race card in right field, and then, okay, 99 Draft in center field. Once again, this can only be like like four teams. We already got the Tigers. Uh, I mean, one of the other 99s is Paul Skeens, so obviously that's not him. And then Dylan Cruz. So this would have to be Washington. Yeah, the great race of 98 would be the Expos Vlad. Uh, the 97 All-Star would be Trey Turner at shortstop. Yeah, th this is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go Nationals. I'm pretty confident in that. Another correct answer. So I'm putting Big Daddy Vladdy in right field, and I'll take another bullpen arm with Patrick Corbin. This is too easy, man. I'm five for five. All right, this looks like a pretty good team. 99 tops now, 99 prime card at catcher. I feel like there's not a lot of those. We do have a 99 postseason card at second base, Uh, 99 snapshot at first base. Well, once again, with the postseason card, that limits it to like 10 teams. And I already got who the Orioles, so it can't be them. 99 snapshot, 99 awards. Okay, I think, I think I've got this uh, this is the Phillies. I think the tops now pitcher would be the Michael Lorenzen, JT Real Muto at catcher, Ryan Howard at first, Bryson Stott at second base, Jimmy at shortstop, Mike Schmidt at third. Yeah, it, this, this is, this is Philly. All right, I'll go Bryson Stott at second base, and I'll go ahead and add another lefty bullpen arm, Matt Strom. All right, let's see if we can keep the perfect streak going. What am I, six for six, five for five, something like that? This one already looks a little bit tougher, though. Okay, what do we have? A 98 draft card, so... That opens up that a lot more. 84 postseason. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about first base and second base. Those, I'm not going to get it from there, obviously. 95, great race card. What? 98 monthly awards, 95 tops now, 99 awards in left field. We got a prime card at third base. I feel like the prime would be the best thing to go off of just because there's not like a huge amount of those in the game. Man, I don't know. This one's kind of tough because there's only two 99s. And, you know, I think in a Wards in left field, 99 is not really gonna help. 95 great race is throwing me off. 98 draft. Oh no, dude, I wanna go perfect. I don't wanna lose here, hold on, think. Dude, the only prime card I can think about right now is that freaking JT Real Muto, and obviously, not him, but like, dude, I might be stumped. I don't know who this is. It obviously can't be like a very good team. Otherwise you'd probably have more high diamonds, especially on the right side of the infield. Oh no. Okay. I got to throw a guess out there. I, um, dude, I straight up have nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw a guess out there. 98 draft. It should be a pretty, you know, mediocre team. If you're getting a 98 overall draft pick, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Let's go Rockies. I straight up don't know. Oh my God, it was the Royals. I forgot about Moose. Dude, are, did I even forget about Moose or did I think he was like a second baseman? I feel like anytime I use Moose, I don't play him at third. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. I should have had that. I should have had that. I should have had that. Well, whenever I get an answer wrong, I can only add bronzes from that team. So I'm going to add Brady Singer to my rotation and Nelson Velazquez will be my DH. I'm actually so pissed off that I missed that because I, I should have gotten that. I'm, oh, I'm 
triggered. If I go 12 for 13 in this video and that's the one I miss, I'm gonna freak out. All right, let's move on for now. Uh, what do we have here? A Kaiju 99 pitcher, a veteran catcher. Okay, postseason at first base. So once again, this, this limits it to like, what, eight other teams? And it's a 99 postseason at first base. Okay, so that's a good one. Well, let's think. What postseason teams have I done so far? I did the, the Phillies and the Orioles. Okay, this definitely is not gonna be a team that's still playing like the Rangers or the D-backs. I also don't think this would be a championship series team, so I don't think this would be the Astros or obviously not the Phillies. Who else made the playoffs? The Brewers? Nope, you would have a better Willie Adamas at shortstop. Definitely not the Dodgers. Um, definitely not the Braves. Miami. Is this Miami? Yeah, I think it's Miami because you would have Al Leiter as the Kaiju card. Uh, the postseason card would be Josh Bell. All-Star 99, Luis Arias, uh, awards in right field uh, would be Stanton. Yeah, I, I, I think this is the Marlins. I, I'm, I'm, I feel good about that. All right, we're back on track. Well, you know I gotta get Stanton in here, and then I'll put Brazabon in the pen. All right, only five more teams remaining on these guesses. Okay, so what do we have here? A 99 awards card at starting pitcher, a 99 milestone in right field, a 94, is that a 2019 finest over in left? That could limit options. I, I don't really know any of the 2019 finest in this game off the top of my head. 99 snapshot shortstop. Another snapshot in center field. 99 awards starting pitcher. So you got what, Kluber? Is this the Guardians? 95 captain at first base. I don't, I don't know. Hang on. Let me think. 99 snapshot at shortstop for the Guardians doesn't really make sense. I don't think there's a 99 Lindor right now. 94. Is there a 99 J? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a 99 J Ram. What am I talking about? No, this is not the Guardians. Okay. 99 awards starting pitcher. What other awards starting pitchers are there? Uh, Whitey Ford. I mean, that could be Jason Giambi at first base, that captain card. I actually know for a fact that's the highest Yankees first baseman because I landed on that in Revolution recently but no if this was the Yankees you'd have Derek Jeter's signature at shortstop I'm sure I feel like I have to stay focused on the 99 awards pitcher um oh wait what about the Giants hold on uh, mad bum 99 mad bum uh 99 snapshot Brandon Crawford I 97 snapshot Willie Mays okay I think the Giants are my best option so far I think the monthly awards catcher would be Patrick Bailey. You know what? Out of all the things I've thought of, I, I think I think the Giants are good. I'm, I'm going to go San Francisco. And I was correct. And look at this, bro. In right field, it's that 99 Yaz. But in left field, it's the 94 Yaz. They got the same guy as the highest overall for two different positions. So I'm going to play Brandon Crawford over at third. And I'm going to throw Camilo Doval in the bullpen. And at this point, I have a full starting lineup. Any players I add going forward offensively will be for the bench. So... Even if I get it wrong, I really don't care. So let's see what we got. Well, this one, I mean, three 2023 postseason cards. This should be a pretty good team. Is this the Rangers? No, because you'd have Jonah Heim. I think he has multiple 99s at catcher. Is this the Diamondbacks? You could have uh, Moreno at catcher. They wouldn't have a 99 awards at shortstop, though. Philly, we already did. Astros, uh, Maldonado at catcher. Abreu at first base. That would be 99 Jordan in left field. This, ha this has to be Houston. Yeah, the awards card at shortstop would be Jeremy Pena. The awards card in center would be George Springer. I think he's set three. 99 milestone Craig Biggio. Yeah, this is this is Houston, 100%. Let's go, baby. So it's gonna be Brian Abreu for the bullpen and Jordan on the bench. Three teams left, let's keep going. Wow, holy monthly awards, dude. There's five monthly awards cards here. 99 monthly awards starting pitcher. 97 monthly awards catcher, 97 in the middle infield, 98 in left field. I actually don't think the monthly awards are going to give it away to me. I mean, it should be a team that had a pretty decent season if you're going to get a ton of monthly awards cards, but no postseason cards. So maybe it's not a decent season. Oh, oh. If I got this one wrong, I, I would have never heard the end of it. This is the Angels. 99 milestone Trout in center field, Otani at pitcher, Troy Gloss at third base, Oh, Hoppy behind the dish. Tim Salmon in right field. Next. Mike Trout is on the bench and Shohei's in the rotation. Dude, I'm dangerously close to going 12 for 13, man. All right, what do we have? 99 tops now at pitcher. 99 signature at shortstop. 
We have an incognito card for the first time in this video. Um, 97 Prime with Mike Moustakis earlier. I'm probably not going to get that Prime card. I feel like the incognito would be a good one to focus on right here because I feel like there's not a lot of teams that have incognito cards that are uh, eligible in season four, at least that are that high overall. 99 incognito Commerce Comet would, of course, be set to, so it's not him. Um, although this... Although this still might be the Yankees with Derek Jeter at shortstop. Uh, 99 tops now pitcher. The hell is a tops now pitcher that the Yankees would have? But I mean, 95 Giambi at first base. 97 awards. That could be the rookie Aaron Judge. And the monthly awards third base at 90 overall. That's so low. I don't hate the Yankees guess, but I feel like there's a couple that are also throwing me off. But you know what? This is for a bench bat anyway, so let's let's go with the Yankees. I'll just go with them. Oh, and it was. Oh, Grandy Man in center field, DJ LeMahieu at second, and Domingo Herman was the pitcher. Okay. So I've got Derek Jeter on the bench and Mariano to fill out the bullpen. And last team, here we go. 99 Retro Finest at pitcher. Well, it's not the Angels. Uh, Patrick Sandoval is the first 99 Retro Finest that I could think of, but... Obviously not them. 99 milestone at first base. We have a draft card. We have a couple breakouts and a, a bronze live series catcher. Okay, hold on. This is a weird team. I can't even think of any retro finest pitchers other than Patrick Sandoval, at least that are 99s. I feel like the 98 draft card, I feel like there's like 15 of those guys at shortstop. 99 snapshot in left field. Dude, I don't know what's going to give this one away. I mean, I'm not going to get it off a of 96 monthly awards. Not going to get it off an 87 and an 84 breakout card. I mean, it has to be kind of a bad team, right? Not the White Sox, because you'd have Louie Bob in center field. Could this be like the Pirates or something? No, because McCutcheon, I think, would be in the outfield, and he's an awards card. What bad teams am I missing? I already guessed the Rockies earlier, but that was wrong. Oakland, maybe? No idea who the finest pitcher is still, but 99 on Oakland, you could go Jimmy Fox. The, the milestone at first base. 99 snapshot and left, Ricky. And right field, maybe Reggie? I think he has an A's card. I'll, I'll just go A's. I don't even care. Let's go Oakland. And it is correct. So the final bench spot goes to Jimmy. And the final rotation spot goes to Frankie Montas. And I really went 12 for 13. I should have been perfect on this. This was easy. How did I forget about Moustakis? Well, regardless, this is what the full squad is looking like. Nelson Velazquez will stay in as my DH. Rotation's looking pretty good. Bullpen looking solid. I ended up with a pretty good team on this one. Now let's see if this team can win a game. All right, it's Cueto versus Otani. I also haven't played ranked in like four or five days, so I should have stayed off ranked. And he's running first pitch. Oh my God, bro. Why did I play this game today? There it is. That's what I like to see. He's running. He's running. Come on. Oh, we got him all day. We got him all day. Perfect throw. No way. He stole third on me too. Bro, I cannot let this run score. Yeah, you're not getting home here. Wouldn't be shocked if this guy tried to like steal home or something stupid. No, no, that's okay. This offense has a lot of firepower. We'll score. No, uh, Ellie, what you want to do is you want to swing very late and get jammed because that's how you get hits in this game. Oh, baby, don't throw a hanging slurve to Juan Soto. If this doesn't leave, oh my God. Why are you hitting Vlad? What did Vlad do? Oh, well, that wasn't ideal. I'm scoring a run in this inning. I can feel it in my chest. Could also just be heartburn. Straight by me. All right. Oh, I'm just not even going to swing the bat now. Cool. And I'm really locked in today, huh? Yeah, that was definitely just heartburn that I felt. Bro, <laughs> what a couple awful innings to start this game for me. At least Cueto has figured it out, and he's dealing. Thank you. I, if Craig Biggio got another late hit on me, I would have freaked out. Oh, here we go. This is a double, and we can probably expect him to try to steal third in this next at-bat. That's what happens when I get too caught up in the base runner. Oh my God, this game is going south fast and he's replaying it. Oh my, I knew I should have just kept playing Spider-Man today. Well, I hit it hard. 
dude. Oh my god, I suck so bad right now. There we go. We got our first hit, finally. I How the f*** do I miss that? Dude, these first three innings are some of the worst gameplay I've ever featured on this YouTube channel. There we go. Lead off walk. This is the inning. Are you... Oh, thank God. I thought that was about to be a double play. All of a sudden, I got the tying run at the plate. Come on. Okay, come on. We're still alive here. Let's go! Miguel Cabrera! How is that a home run? I don't care. All I know is that we got a tie ball game. Perfect, perfect. 450 feet. What a swing. Let's go, man. Fifth inning tie game. Dude, Cueto is actually pitching... Pretty well for the most part. It was one bad pitch to Carlos Santana. And then, of course, he got on on the first at bat with a very late jammed hit that barely stayed fair. So, like, it really hasn't been a bad game for Cueto at all. <laughs> He's got eight strikeouts. Go slider away. Nine strikeouts. Bro, what the hell is up with this Craig Biggio card? Yeah, get out of here. You think I'm going to fall for that again? Bro, if Nelson Velazquez gives us the lead right now... The... Oh, baby, Nelson, represent the Royals well. Why do you keep hitting my players? What did they do to you? Bye-bye, ball. Bye-bye. You think you can throw that pitch to Vlad and get away with it? Let's take a look at it. Let's see how far it traveled. And we bounced Shohei. Dude, the momentum shift in this game has been wild. I mean, Miguel Cabrera really set the tone earlier with his perfect, perfect nuke that left the yard. So it's been uphill ever since then. Oh, please get down. Please don't catch this. <laughs> Easy double. Another perfect swing this inning. You can't teach this. You can't teach this level of professional gameplay. You either have it or you don't. Oh, and I think that's where the rage quit comes in. I think it's over. Bryson Stott put the nail in the coffin, dude. See you later.